Using the underground gate, Tomiki Saragi and the others returned to 1985, but Miyoko Sawatari was nowhere to be found. <laughs> oh right, they went well, back well. after that little uh, scuffle with Yuroki Yoshina Nome. And then they, yeah, they went to the bell. I mean, they, they got back to the current time, 1985, and uh, they, they were missing they were missing Miyoko. So that, I'm actually really curious about this because you keep seeing Miyoko. They mentioned her in the battles as well. All right, tell me Kisaragi. After returning, and Miyoko's right here. All right, uh, let's talk to Miyoko, I'm curious. Usami-chan, I've been meaning to tell you. I found a cafe with some amazing looking cakes. Shall we go there after school? Mm, tell me, tell me his expression changed like, oh no. I don't know if this is a real one That's anymore. the same thing you said before we left. Hmm? You've been acting strange today. She got she got hit with the reset button. B -b 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 uh, oh, Fuyasaka. This girl, new building, same old sleepyhead. Oh, what about Karabe? Hmm. Izumi, did you really turn into a different person? Megumi's crying for you, you know. She's doing a lot. This guy seems like he's struggling. Alright. Alright, Miyoko. Did something happen? Something happened to you. Like nothing did. That's the problem. Oh yeah. We went way deep underground. You were freaking out. You've gotta remember that, right? Underground? You mean the downstairs food court at the mall? Um no. Dead Kaiju 2025, that should we be went it. to the ruined future. You really don't remember? You said that this morning, too. I've never heard of ruined future. What kind of shop is it? <sighs> that would sound like a terrible shop to buy stuff at. She... Yuko Sawatari. She doesn't remember a thing about what just happened. That's not something you can just forget. It's more like... Her memories were rewritten, as if she never went there at all. As the school marked us absent those days, but she's acting like she's been here the whole time. It's crazy. Did that underground computer do this? Wait, 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 wait. Damn it! <laughs> I didn't get to present her with everything yet, I think. Uh okay, we'll double check. We'll double check. Alright, Miyoko. Alright, there we go. Tell it to me straight. In the last few days, did anything big happen? Anything at all? In the last few days? Oh, let's see. Hmm. Something big. Oh, I know. Some more food stuff. You remember? Three days ago, we moved classrooms from the old building to the new one. And that was so sudden. I could hardly believe it. <sighs> Is that not it? It was a month ago. You seem disappointed. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. All right, that should be it. All right, now we can remember stuff about Miyoko Sawatari. Hey. Oh ho! I recognize this area. I'm glad you remember at least. Miyoko has no memory of the whole ordeal. To her, it's like nothing ever happened. And Shinonome Senpai, she doesn't even remember my face. So that's what Sekigahara meant about being managed. Damn. If that's true, then everyone here's in the same boat, right? My mom? The people of my city? Maybe they're all hidden somewhere, being monitored. It all comes down to that underground computer. I bet it has the answers. <sighs> I'm... I'm gonna go back there. What? Dude, are you crazy? The place is crawling with androids. I'm just waiting for the, uh, the moment where her conversation cycles into Ogata's path. Um, I'm pretty good at hiding. Dumbass, you'll die. Besides, how the hell do you plan on getting there? How the hell do you plan on getting there? Give it a rest. Uh, is there anyone else here? I don't think so. All right, it's just Nenji Ogata. You got the underground gate. If we use the gate again, we can return to that era. Do you even know how? Uh... Hocus Pocus. 
I don't think Morimura would be much help. And Shinonome-senpai, she was looking at me real suspiciously. Oh, I know. Sekigahara-kun. I'll find him and... Calm down. Just think about it for a sec. You really want to mess with that thing? Shit's dangerous. And you know, if you get stranded again, you might be stuck for good. Oh, oh. He's, he's in the pose. I think this might be it. I guess when you put it like that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. But still. Now that I think about it, why do you care? Don't tell me. You're worried about me that much? Am I really that important to you? Oh, shut up. Go ahead and die for all I care. It's just... I'd feel pretty shitty being the one who let you do it. Huh. <laughs> So that's how it is. Uh, he, I guess he replayed this moment so many times. So what? You want me to just sit on my ass until something happens? I get it, all right? We'll think of something together. Just don't go rushing off on your own. Wait, 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 wait. So in Ogata's route, he replayed this day several times, which resulted in several endings. One is Wajima's to the left. One involves taking the train and seeing all the kaiju. Uh, one is finding out that Natsuno is the holder of the Daimos key. Kinda wonder what really happened because it's it's interesting how he extracted so much information from like to make so many different routes just from the one that the experience that he had. <laughs> Let's do something together he just walks away. Um, oh yeah Wajima's gonna be here. Well, Ogata. Ogata. Most oh, we can actually skip this part because they know hey we've seen now. it. Come on, you're fighting again? Stop that. Hey, stay out of this, idiot. What do we got here? Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary schoolers. That's messed up, man. The hell did you just say? You want to say that again? Say it to my face. Come on. Stop it. That's only a taste of what you deserve, asshole. Train's already here. I think in this one she takes the train and Ogata uh, lets her be. You want. Yeah, and that's why he regretted it so much. I guess we'll just hop on. I can't keep waiting around like this. We'll think of something together. <laughs> yeah, right. Keep your word next time, dummy. A few weeks later? Huh, I guess we didn't see uh, Ogata's another day, side. Another waste of time. Oh, maybe this will connect into Hijiyama's route where we, uh, where she ends up going to the past or to the future a lot with, um, with Okino. So we might see Okino here. There has to be a gate here somewhere. Was it all just a weird dream? Oh. oh, stop it, me! If I start to doubt myself, it's all over. I've got a lot more investigating to do. Oh, look, there's a dead body here. Look! <laughs> all right, let's go to the shrine. When we arrived, the gate was right here. If I stand here, I should be able to go back. At least, that's what I think. Genius thinking. But what do I do to get it to show up? Examine further. Maybe there's a switch somewhere. Oh, while she's kneeling down, she'll see Okino you know, come over. Huh? Or no, come back. All right. Here we are, 1985. <sighs> oh. This is probably after. Oh, this is after Hijiyama's route, when uh, they went to 1945 and they came back. Do you know what you have to do? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, yeah, I'd my sanity. It's awesome. It's so absurd. My head's going to burst. You can head back and rest up. Okino. Okay, Don't worry. I won't be going anywhere. I just need to ensure Chihiro Morimura doesn't find out. Time to pull a few tricks on the gate and cover our tracks. See you. I saw oh. that. 
Oh, rare footage of Okino being surprised. B -b Busted. <laughs> Finally found my inn. So, you there? You seem to be able to access the gate. Who are you? Tomi Kisaragi, and you are Okino Kun, a guy who doesn't want to be caught by Morimura. Right. <laughs> I know a Morimura. <laughs> Blackmail. Uh. Now then, won't you do something for me? Ha! <laughs> Blackmail. <laughs> Oh, that took me continue was so delayed. Back to 2025. Hmm. I, I feel like we were going to be able to finish this. Nope. That's a lock. Shu Amaguchi's an idol in orbit. Oh! He's got one more, so that's got to be the last one. Okay. Wow. We're going to finish a lot of people today. If I remember correctly, in Shu Amaguchi's, it ended with him going into space, coming back down. Being ejected from his sentinel and then seeing uh, Yuki Takamiya with Goto and Shinonome at the park. Um, yeah, let's see. Shiwamaguchi was shifted into a sentinel that appeared out of nowhere and ended up in outer space. When she returned to surface, Tatsuya Ida pressed him to cooperate. Yes. So technically, that was after he got shot with the magical gun from Megumi Yakushiji. So, kind of wonder how his is going to end. All right, let's hop into it. All right. Shu Amaguchi. Back home, Shu Amaguchi's apartment. Those government spooks are keeping an eye on me. At this rate, they could just take me away and nobody would ever know. Yep. Oh, let's see, we have something here. You can talk about this probably. This whole time? On behalf of that shady outfit? Is that why she approached me at all? Yuki chan. No, wait. I'm the one who approached her, and she has to keep an eye on me? Well, hey, maybe this isn't so bad after all. <laughs> He's like, ah, I see. It's a win for Shu Amaguchi. <laughs> uh, that's actually kind of funny. So she's been monitoring me this whole time. She's actually some oh, the TV's on. government spy. That's crazy. Also, not gonna lie, weirdly hot. <laughs> <gasps> Shukun, please help me. Huh. Her face is gone. Hey. He knows I'm here now. He's going to try to have me eliminated. What? Wait, wait, what do you mean, eliminated? So much I still don't get here. I need a real explanation. I know, but I had to hack my way in to reach you. My connection won't last long. Tetsuya Ida? When you say he, you mean Tetsuya Ida? Yes. Why is he after you? Because I'm helping you. I was right. He's trying to reset Project Ark. He wants to reset it? What would that do? The world would be destroyed by Kaiju. Everything will be gone. They want to start over. They want to restart this world from the beginning. They've done it before. Ooh, that's what the loops are. And a reset means you would be erased too. You're talking about Kaiju now? You've already seen them. <sighs> you mean those things in my dreams? The Sentinels were built to fight those Kaiju. To defend the world you call home. So it's just space beyond the enclosure walls. That means we're in some huge spaceship, right? Why does all of this exist? Why cover up the truth? There is a supercomputer hidden below your town. We call it Universal Control. It has led you to believe you live in Japan, in a certain historical era. Why? Possibly to make your lives easier. Hmm. Man, I know uh, in Miura's route, he was like, yeah, I always want to try to live in uh, 1940s Japan. I was like, ugh. It's not the best choice out of all the years, but okay. Possibly to make you easier to manage. Honestly, the I don't know much about like the history of Japan, but if I recall, the 80s was when there was like a huge bubble, right? And money was just going in and out, so maybe the 80s would have been the, like, the best time to hang out. Even I couldn't tell you the real reason. 
Which is why that's the main year we're in. So why are you trying to help us? You still don't know who I am. You and I have met many times in your dreams. Tell me Kisaragi. Yeah, tell me Kisaragi. I'm gonna try every other option just to see. You're Tetsuya Ida! Wait, you're not Tetsuya Ida, are you? Uh, you might be overthinking this. Shukun, please. We don't have much time. Please, give it some more thought. You must be... Yuki Takamiya. Uh, uh, Yuki, Yuki. Oh, are you Yuki-chan? No, I'm not Yuki-chan. Shukun? You really don't know. We've met in your dreams. Please think a little harder. I know the point she's trying to like emphasize is when he said that he was a fan of Tomi Kisaragi singing and he was fate. But uh, <laughs> it's just so funny, man. Well, you're Miyuki Inaba, right? Yes. And no, Miyuki Inaba is a disguise. You should know what my real name is. Okay, Please so give it some more thought. In that case, if she's well, she's definitely. Tomi Kisaragi, but that also means that she is not going to be the 15th member of the people who got injected with nano machines. Yeah, okay, so it's probably Tamal Karabi then, right? Oh, that song from my dream. You don't mean you're. You finally realized this is how I got past universal control. I sang on an inconspicuous broadcast. With all my heart, just like I used to. Kisaragi. Yes, it's me, but a different Tomi Kisaragi from the one in your world. Oh, so she was a Tomi Kisaragi from a loop ago, but Universal Control took didn't uh, regard her as two different entities because she was adapting this Miyuki Inaba disguise. I'm not human anymore. And that too. Just data on a computer. But that's exactly how I can still help you. That is also how um, Kurabe uh, Juro Izumi came to this timeline because he's he was also just Data. Oh no, he's at Sector 3's terminal. Sector 3 is 2025. Help me, Shukun. If we don't stop him, he'll erase me. What should I do? Inside the outer walls. I hid your sentinel inside. Hey! No, come on! Don't leave me hanging like this! Hey! No, come on! Don't leave me hanging like this! She's gone. What happens if I go there? Can I really make a difference? I can already tell this is gonna be a huge mess. Nope. Nope. A girl has asked for my help. I can't just run away from this. I'll go. And I'll figure out the rest when I get there. She's been reaching out to me, using my TV set to break through the walls that separate us. She's the Tomi Kisaragi I saw in my dream. The Tomi Kisaragi who has no body left. Just a mind inside oh, a machine. wait. Yeah. Now I think about it. Yeah, Kisaragi was... Had an AI version of her that, um... That was the one that Drew, uh, Drew Izumi took control of when she was put in that body. So yeah, there totally was an AI for her. I completely forgot that. I didn't... Make the connection that it was that one. Huh. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I wonder if that's gonna be in the, um, what do you mean, uh, what do you call them? In the mystery, mystery files? Oh, God. Moves and I shoot. Hi, Shinonome Senpai. Shinonome Senpai? The door was locked. How did you get in? Shot it. I broke the lock. Okay, close enough. With that gun? There was an agent, too. I put him to sleep. Oh, yeah, she did use the gun. All right. You were at the park with him. Are you with the Shady Spy Bureau, too? Yes. So, what do you want with me? I need your sentinel. My sentinel? Call it here. That's a thing I can do? I have no idea how. Okay, I can't move. I was curious. Senpai, I'm sorry, but I've got something I need to do. You want me to shoot you? I have to go stop Ida. Uh, huh? Sounds like we're on the same side. Alright, she ends up shooting Ida. Past the tunnel? Yeah, 
That's where the Sentinel's hidden, apparently. That's some Sentinel. It must weigh hundreds of tons. How does it fly in the air? But what I really don't understand is how you controlled it without any problems. Piloting a Sentinel damages you. Like what happened to me. So most people can't operate them. What? You mean piloting a Sentinel did all that stuff to you? You know, it's not too late to turn back. It is too late. Easy, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna give up now. A girl's in trouble. You know where you're going, don't you, Senpai? She's like, is it me? I'm always in trouble. Please. <laughs> there are two terminals that have been analyzed so far. You're also kind of Tetsuya Ida, so like, I think it's okay. Sector 1 and Sector 3. Uh, 45 and 25. But we can only get into one of them. That'd be the terminal in Sector 3. I'm not really sure I'm- Mr. Ida was supposed to take me with him, but he took Takamiya-san instead. Yuki-chan? What's he planning with Yuki-chan? He needed biometric ID from one of us. It's the only way he can access the terminal. But now he's put the gate into lockdown. That means a sentinel's the only way to shift in. Huh. Oh, we're reaching the edge of the world again. It's just up ahead. Fifteen kilometers from the city center, inside the outer walls. Oh, they're not turning on the lights. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if it was going to be the same thing as we saw before. Wait. Are you okay? What is this place? The outer walls of the spaceship, I guess. It's a spaceship? What are you talking about? Oh, whoa. Uh, okay, so you never found out that part. It's a long story. This doesn't make sense. How could there be a facility like this in a tunnel? I don't know how, but there is. Let's look for the Sentinel. Oh, we can actually walk here. Cool. There it is. That's my boy. It's really here. The one I saw at the park. Miyuki and Abba hid it here. So, now what? Well, activate it. Yeah, but how? How did you do it before? I don't know. It just kind of happened. Yeah, I got shot by a magical gun. What about your activation switch? You should have one somewhere on your body. A switch? Where nanomachines were shot into you. That's where code was injected into your system. So that should be where your switch is. Yeah, you want to flip my switch? <laughs> no! Oh yeah, I got shot. I think she got me right around here? Swipe the across here? See if that starts things up. Here goes nothing. So I just swipe it like this. Cool. I can just imagine he's like, ah, oh, it's really loud. <laughs> okay, I see you. So yeah, I'm in. But for something so big, well, this cockpit looks like a single seater. If it shares design elements from number 14, there should be a maintenance hatch somewhere. Oh, right. I think, uh, that's what Natsuno did with, uh, Miura's Sentinel. From there, I could set the shift destination. Okay, let me look. I found it. I think. Where is it? In the back. It's actually really cool to see these two interact with each other and work together. How's it looking down there? I've set the shift destination. Now you just need to confirm it. Okay. Here we go. This thing better not let us down. Sector 3 flying over the underground what facility. Here? It's like a world after an apocalypse. That's Sakura High. It looks a lot like where we live. No, it's in ruins. But that is our city. We were in Sector 4. What you're looking at is Sector 3. Okay, so there really is more than one enclosure. It's down there. The bottom of that hole is the terminal. Looks like we'll fit right through. I guess we're going down. Back to that one room.
Yep. <laughs> Always this area. Oh, we're we gonna see Tetsuya Ida. Freeze. Any closer and I shoot her. So, you found a way through on Shu Amiguchi's Sentinel? I suppose this is because I chose Takamiya-kun over you. Those emotional impulses of yours really do try my patience. That's not why, Mr. Ida. <gasps> oh, I can't move. Okay, so... Consider this. Back in my... Miyuki Inaba needs my help. I have to stop Ida somehow, or else... He's going to erase her. It doesn't matter. I don't care what group Yuki-chan's wrapped up, I'm going to save her. Alright. You're Tetsuya Ida, huh? I know about you. I've seen a lot of your past. Well, that's inconvenient. She's still transplanting memories, then. Well, I know you, too. Perhaps better than anyone else could. After all, I've known you all your life. Ever since I dropped you off as a newborn. Drop me off? I placed you into the Amiguchi family as a child. Then, you're saying... I'm your father? You are genetically identical to me. You are Tetsuya Ida. <gasps> Yuki-chan's got nothing to do with this. Let her go! I'm afraid she's a vital part of the process. I need her biometrics to access the computer. You should know this is partly your fault. Up until now, I had simply been borrowing your ID. But then you had to go and access your Sentinel, which means authorization has been restored to you. Not my fault, I got shot. <laughs> Yuki-chan, don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Amiguchi. You have feelings for Yuki Takamiya, I take it? Yeah, I love her. You know, under any other <laughs> circumstances, it'd be fascinating. Genetically identical, but our experiences made us very different people in... A shame. There is nothing you can do to change this. <sighs> Miyuki... Inaba. Ida-kun. So here you are at last. Your singing gave you away. I recognized it instantly. I'm still your biggest fan, believe it or not. Ida-kun. I have to start things over for the two of us. This is a mistake. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken. It's too late. This place will be gone soon enough anyway. Or do you have some other option to share? <sighs> Even if I did, you wouldn't listen to me. Not the way you are now. Miyuki Anaba said something about this. She said she knew me through my ID. Probably because he's the one she was trying to track. Stop! I won't let you erase her! Erase her? Please. I love Tomi Kisaragi. There's no need for anything as drastic as <laughs> that. Jinnama is like, oh! But I do need to silence her as a precautionary measure. You can cut off communications. But I'm not going to give up. Oh, will this lead into, uh... This is totally gonna lead into... Ryoko Shinonome shooting, um... Shooting Ida. Oh, right! Oh, right! In that route! We came back with, um... Tetsuya Ida and, uh... Yuki Takamiya, but Takamiya said, oh no, Shu got left behind. I don't need to cut off communications. It doesn't matter where you are, after all. You're a Sentinel AI now. She's in a Sentinel? And I happen to have command authorization over the Sentinels. All of them up to number 19. That's impossible. Wait, Itakun, I'm in orbit right now. I'm watching this all from the command ship's computer, and I can see everything. I know what'll happen to that whole area. The reset will change everything. It'll all be broken down and rebuilt, but... Indeed. A new beginning for you and me. No, you don't understand. Attention! Emergency protocol. Four shut down Sentinel number 16. Don't! You know what? Bastard! She'll be asleep until all of this is over. That's the last variable taken care of. I think our work here is done. We're returning to Sector 4. And you're coming with us, Shu Amiguchi. As will you, Shinonome-kun. Come on. You know you need me. Hey, really? That's my girl. We're leaving. Collect the equipment. Wait, what about the Sentinel? You're just gonna leave it here? I know what you've really been trying to do. Back then, 
All those nights in the lab, you weren't trying to bring her back. You wanted to remake Kisaragi. The way you wanted her to be. Ida, you think we're the same person? You're nothing like me! I'd never use a girl as some tool! <sighs> Little shit! Stop right there! Don't move. Damn it. Hamiguchi-kun, hurry. Right. Oh, Yuki Takamiya, yeah. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> I was trying, I was not trying to leave. Hamiguchi. Uh, Shino no me. Uh, you can be such an inconvenience. Speaking of. Uh, Hamiguchi. Takamiya-kun. I suggest you come quietly, or Amiguchi will suffer the consequences. You son of a bitch! Yuki-chan, don't risk it! I do have a way out. Shu does have a way out. If we could hurry this up... On it, sir. What? Let's see his to the final battle section. A few hours later. So this goes there. Good thing I'm a genius. Whoa! Okay, nice. So that's all set. Then let's do this. <sighs> no dice. You need to take this seriously. I'm in, hey, I'm this in freaking saw? high school. Keep it cool. He's doing fine. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Uh, he's like, ah, oh, I'm looking at this. I don't know what any of this means. Let's talk to this black suit. It doesn't seem as if the director's coming back, which means it may be up to us to find our way back home. Probably best to work together for now. So you guys really have no idea how to work all this stuff? Our intel suggested it's just not possible for us. The only ones with clearance and ability are the special miners, but we'll certainly make an effort. Can't your robot do something to solve this? It's capable of transporting us across time, correct? Hell if I know, man. My senpai was the one who set up the time travel. Sure, I can fly the thing, but I'd have no idea how to get us home. Huh. How much does your organization know? Do they have any real info on how this place works? Well, it's a UFO made by scientists of the future. Since before our time, it's been buried here. Deep underground. Okay, so you're basically clueless. Sound about right? Yep. <laughs> Come on, out. Let the big boys do the work. <laughs> this is nothing like my microcomputer at home. Damn it. This doesn't look good. I can't help Miyuki and Abba. I can't even go after Yuki chan. What am I supposed to do here? <gasps> Where'd the console go? Did it work? A Sakigahara, I'm calling it. A no. Sakigahara. It just started moving by itself. Nope. Not to know Minami. Hey, Minami? what's up? Ami Gucci kun? The data you get. Men in black. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was the weirdest to the final battle section we've gotten. <laughs> Uh Okay, so Natsuno showed up. Oh, oh, oh. That didn't that really didn't seem like a, a to the final battle moment. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, I guess we'll start and finish. Yuki Takamiya's. All right. Erika Aiba's true identity turned out to be an android that carried the consciousness of the criminal Jiro Izumi, and the android managed to break past Morimura and the others to escape from Yuki Takemiya, and then go into Kuro Karabe where he ended up becoming a movie buff who just didn't stop playing uh, playing games and watching movies. Cool. Yuki Chan. Oh yeah, she always starts from the rooftop. Aiba. Where could she have gone? Forget her. I need to find Nachan. Yeah, we never found her I yet. I should check with Sekigahara if there's been any progress. Finishing hers will actually lead up to um finishing Natsuno's. 
So, in terms of the story sections, I think we can pretty much unlock, like, finish everyone's other than potentially Renya Goto, because he's still at 14%. Oh, we can go to the old school building. Erica Iba is a robot, or more accurately, android. A criminal by the name of Juro Izumi. That too. Who asked, he wanted to do something to me, something that involved shooting me up with nano machines. The Kisaragi involved in the bathroom incident. It was really just a robot built to look like her. Then that robot got damaged and was disposed of in the old school building. And now the robot's brain is in Iba's body. So the. How many days has it been since Nachan went missing? I was told she'd be able to find food, but I'm worried about her. I should hurry and get to the old building. Sekigahara is there. I wonder if we're gonna actually find Natsuno in this one and help her get back to 1985 because uh, Natsuno's final one required this one to be done. I saw something that... Some... All right, uh, there's no one to annoy me this time. Oh, we can enter the school building. I don't think there will really be anything of substance. I'm assuming what we have to do is, um, remember the stuff, uh, the old school building. I'm going to check real quick. Oh, Amaguchi's here. You're not with that girl today? Uh, a lot's been happening lately. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Today's not a good day. See ya. Yuki-chan, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but no thanks. Bye bye. Wonder if we, if we'll uh, get him again if uh, we get a different drink. Nah, nah, he's gone. All right, let's uh, remember, or let's go to the old school building. Anyone there? Are you in here? What are we looking for? Erica Iba. Where is he? No, he... He said he was gonna be hiding around here. Maybe he's still looking for her. Uh... I don't remember who this is. Or maybe he got caught... <sighs> we are here! Oh! BJ and Ace Kigahara. Would this lead into, um... Sekigahara telling her to... Sekigahara, what happened? Uh, to give her... Give him BJ when he loses his memories? The nanomachine separation inside the brain is progressing. What does that mean? He is in the same condition as Ryoko Shinonome. <gasps> um... So in other words... Hey. Bad. <laughs> I still have my memory. I just ran out of my pills. Oh wait, he looks in, like he's in the exact same condition as when Hijiyama found him. So this might be like very similar time timing or time period because BJ was also here don't mind me you were searching for Natsuno Minami we've determined her location she's in sector three what Miura? it is only speculation but there is a high probability that she is there okay great let's go get her oh wait Sekigahara Go without me. I just needed to tell you. Besides, the black suits are only after me now. It'd be bad if they think you're my accomplice. Better to avoid being seen together at all. Come over here. What is it? What is this thing? Take a gun. <laughs> I don't know how to use just it. Pull the trigger. You'll need it to save me now. Pull the devil trigger. I need to ask you a favor in return. Miura is carrying a message for me. If I were to ever lose my memory, I need you to show me that message. Ah, uh, okay, okay. You know, I really like this. I've, I haven't, I've honestly been seeing so much praise about the game's story around the halfway point when things start to connect. I love it so much because in the beginning there were just so many things happening. I thought it was really confusing. I thought there were like multiple timelines and like technically there are, but like I thought everyone's route was actually like disconnected because people were dying and people like things didn't make sense and memories of a different time or a different loop and for example like in A's route in A's route he's one of the people that we've done the prologue with 
in the beginning of the game, before we can even do any of the battles, or do any of like the official battles, and his route started off with literally him killing off Morimura, but Morimura has been showing up in everyone's route, and I didn't really understand the timeline at that point, because Morimura is showing up in everyone else's route. <laughs> But uh, now that I know that his takes place at like the end, pretty much, after a lot of stuff ha stuff has happened, now all that stuff makes sense. And like, it's really like that all Always Sunny meme where I really want to just grab a whiteboard and just draw out all the events that happen in order, and like the parallel, like and the order that things happen because that's just so cool. Things are really tying up, and this the writing is really. Really pulling through. I love this. Will you be okay? Sorry, I just really need to go on that uh fangasm for a second. Myself is just about all I can handle. I'm sure Shinonome's medicine is in the nurse's office. Miura seems to be in a hurry. Please go with him. Alright. You stay you stay frosty. To sector three. Oh, we just we just spawned here. So, where is Nachon? Actually, a question this does raise is that, um... So, like... We saw Ryoko Shinonome take BJ. Oh wait, in her route, she was also using BJ to play the old logs, which helped her discover... Um... Discover, like, Ida's secrets or something. Um... Great. More of those creepy ass robots. They must have found something. I need a log about how or just a timeline of how how and where uh the Mira BJ robot has like been. Because he's showed up in a lot of people's routes. Something? You mean not John? This unit possesses no attack capabilities. It is up to you. I know. I won't fail. Alright, let's go, let's go. I'm ready. Lead the way. Suddenly this turns into an FPS. Killing androids. Oh my god, there are so many. Natsuno's been here for a long time, so I'm glad this does get answered. That's really they awesome. They won't come in here, but if I take even one step outside, they'll attack. Ever since I got here, they just keep on coming. I ate my last can of food yesterday, and now the soda I was taking sips from is empty too. Oh, what should I do? Am I going to die here without anyone knowing? I'm spamming A right now. Once that prompt shows up, you know they're dead. <sighs> like I'm supposed to know how to use a freaking gun. You did well. No way. Yuki chan, no chan. I'm Aww. so glad you're okay. Yuki-chan! I finally found you. You're safe now, alright? I know. But... Why are you here, Yuki-chan? I'd come find you anywhere, Nachan. Even if I have to cross time and space to do it. Aww. Oh, Yuki-chan! another hug. The magnetic shield is still active. BJ! It is why the androids could not approach. You came back for me! Of course. Let's go! Let's go! There are four androids approaching. Let's go. No matter what comes our way, I will protect you with everything I have. <laughs> that feels like a to the final battle moment. Yeah, that was so much better than uh than Shiyamaguchi's. Cool. How many people we have at 100 percent now? We got like a good. Six, I want to say. Jiro Karabe, Yuri, Megumi, Ninji Ogata, Shiyamaguchi, 
and Yuki Takamiya. So, Alright, so that's almost half the cast. And for the other half, well, Eiseki Gahara. Actually, yeah, I, he's at 70 something percent. He's not actually one away, so his might be locked off until we finish the battles, potentially. Goto is Goto. We can finish Minamis. We can finish Miuras. We can finish Hijiyamas. No, we can't do Hijiyamas yet, actually, because of Rainer Goto's. So that's two. We can finish Kisaragi's. We can finish Shinonome's. So that's another five. So yeah. We've got really good progress. Whew. Alright, so next time I'm going to do Roku Shinonome's. We're going to finish hers off. And uh, oh, this is. Yeah, this one's the one right after Shiyamaguchi's. Ah, uh, she shot Ida. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna do Ryokushin no Nomes, and then we'll keep going clockwise, which would lead into Aisaki Gaharos, which would probably end up in a lock for you know, it'll probably end up in a lock. But that will also mean that this will be our 12th person over 80 percent, so we can actually get to Goto's next time. And then after that, we'll finish Minamis, Miras, Ijiyamas. Tomiki Suragis. And yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing this. So I guess the game's gonna end with battles. I can technically do the Himawari reward now. So uh that is something to consider. Before we end this off today, I do want to check some mystery files. Alright, I really want to check out Miyuki Naba's. The grown-up version of Tomi Kisaragi from Another World, back when she used to stream her songs on the internet. Tatsuya Ida was a regular in her chat, going by fate. His support and encouragement pushed her to get serious about her singing. In order to evade Universal Control's surveillance, she, sh she sang on an unmonitored broadcast and managed to connect with Shu Amaguchi through his TV. She had Ida install her into Sentinel number 16 as an AI. Don't remember who 16 is, but uh, okay. D function is to maintain a link to one's commander and access three locations at regular intervals. Universal control, automated factory in sector one, and a satellite in orbit. Huh. A dispute over whether to allocate the remaining energy towards Project Arc or life support led to a shootout. And that was when... I think... I think that was when the few, uh, 2188 Takatoshi Hijiyama died. Said Okino died, a bunch of his friends died. And Jiro Izumi is partially responsible for that. Okay, the sector is right. Let's start with Sector 5. Sector 5 is a facility in 1929 to 1949, already in ruins due to the kaiju attack. Sector 4 is 69 to 89, is a peaceful place where kaiju have not invaded, which is 1985, that's her in here. Sector 3 is 2009 to 29, already in ruins due to kaiju attack. 49 to 69 is also in ruins due to kaiju attack. 2109, uh, 89 to 109 is also in ruins. And oh, this one has toxic levels of radiation, so that's something that we've known. The sectors. In, 19, in 2188, the satellites orbiting Earth had five colonies called sectors. Since the residential zones that Keitaro Miura created for Project Arc are structured similarly to the colonies, they are also called sectors. Morimura, as well as other individuals involved with Project Arc, felt that humanity should start over from a time before the nanomachine incident. However, they couldn't go they couldn't come to an agreement as to how far they should go back, so they ultimately settled with pre uh, preparing residential districts by era, which is how the five sectors were born. Ah. Uh, so, so this confirms I've mentioned this before, but this confirms that time travel is not actually involved. Just five different colonies based off of different time periods and uh, the t quote unquote time travel they've been doing is just moving from sector to sector so nothing that happens actually affects the other time periods in fact four out of the five are already gone sector zero is probably the area in the middle that controls everything and there's a ufo in each one of these cool Ooh, the dimos game Oh my god, this is long. An online full dive game that was released in 2154 to celebrate the tw <laughs> the V 
<laughs> the VS4? <laughs> uh, celebrate the 200th anniversary of Mighty Kaiju Daimos? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's... Okay, that's Godzilla. The objective of the game is to survive the disaster caused by the Mighty Kaiju Daimos. Players become residents of a major city five days before the Kaiju appear and get to experience the fate the fated day of their invasion in this simulation survival game. From an old woman who runs the cigar shop to a young man who seeks to avenge his parents, 10 million independent NPCs lead their lives in digital metropolis, metropolis whoops, that's 30 kilometers long. Even experts were astounded by the el elaborately constructed AI, their behavior indistinguishable from real humans. The highlight, however, is the tremendous power of the mighty Kaiju Daimos. The doomsday clock is ticking, blast through mighty Kaiju Daimos with an arsenal of mech suits, rep weaponry, and fight to defend humanity developed by Vanillaware. <laughs> developed by Vanillaware LTD. Ah, uh, shoutouts to myself, <laughs> because I did a good job. That's what this game is saying. That's what Vanillaware is saying. Tsukasa Okino borrowed a portion of this game's internal code to structure an uh, internal code structure when creating universal control. Cool! Wow. Oh, this is a Miyuki and Abba single. Alright, I'm satisfied with that. Woo! Once again, let's review. 50% through analysis, 71% through destruction, 86% through remembrance. We are almost on remembrance. And, yeah, like I said before, we're going to start with Ryoko Shinonomi's first next time. But, until then, I will be seeing you. See ya!